The Pacific region is vast and culturally diverse. These nations face common challenges, mostly associated with isolation, geographical isolation, small and dispersed populations, and of course a lack of natural resources. Gender inequalities is of particular concern across the region. Issues concerning violence against women is widespread. Women's participation in political leadership is amongst the lowest in the world and there are multiple barriers to economic participation and empowerment of women. Gender equality affects all of us as individuals, members of families and communities and as citizens. The causes and consequences of gender inequalities are complex and interrelated and therefore so must be our responses. I am pleased that the voices of men and women of the Pacific are being used in this film to highlight the issues that they face every day and to see their vision for the future. Pacific Women Shaping Pacific Development highlights the Australian Government's commitment to equality and empowerment of women in the region. It's a 10-year, $320 million program striving for the full and free participation of Pacific women in political, economic and social life. Gender equality in the region is not just an issue of fairness, it's also good development and smart economics. All people prosper when women are equal participants in society, including in politics and in the economy, regardless of their income, disability, age or geography. This program brings together women and men from across the Pacific to address the complexities of gender inequality. At its conclusion, we expect to see more Pacific women represented in leadership positions at all levels of government, in business and in the community. We expect women will have more economic opportunities to earn an income, to start successful businesses and to enjoy greater prosperity. And importantly, we expect a reduction in violence against women with survivors of violence gaining greater access to support services and to justice. The Australian Government is pleased to partner with countries across the region through this program to respond to the Pacific Leaders' Gender Equality Declaration. <laughs> Our vision for the Pacific, of course, ideally is a world where, is a, is a, is a region, is the Pacific, where women enjoy, women and girls enjoy their full human rights alongside the men that we're working alongside them, there is respect for them, there is no inequality and discrimination, that we have brought down uh, levels of violence. We um, work on uh, the channels of hope. It's a, a tool or a method that we use to um, try to get gender equality and also try to reduce gender-based violence. In our channels of hope, we really want to see gender-based violence reduced and we do this um, using a faith-based approach, which is very relevant for um, Solomon Islands. Being a Christian country, about 97% being Christian. Um, we use a biblical approach, which um, as we have seen in, from our work, it's uh, been rather um, positive, having positive outcomes on um, how men and women value themselves and also each other. Mm. For Vanuatu, we don't have the shelters specific. We do have money from OZ to uh, put up women, but that's something that we, we will be looking into, uh, working on how, what is the best way that we can, or wh whether there's good models in the Pacific. We want to look more into uh, encouraging our kavaos, our committees in the islands, and the strength in our male advocacy program. We will be setting up three shelters around Fiji, which is really good, and we're hoping that there will be models for the Pacific, you know, uh, you know uh, paying attention, uh, attention to ethical standards and things like that, looking globally and acting locally.